So it is currently just gone 7.30 and I'm in the centre of Exeter and tomorrow evening, Sunday evening, I have a train, hopefully, coming back from Plymouth to Exeter. So we're going to try and walk between Exeter and Plymouth in the course of two days. So it is pretty much exactly eight o'clock and we are just leaving Exeter. We're just crossing over the spirally footbridge thing into Ede. So this is what I gotta look at for the next two hours. Uh, I've cracked out the walking poles just to make the hills a little bit easier. But um as for the route we're doing, it's oh, well I haven't really plied one to be honest. I'm just essentially going to wheel through the lanes from Ede um, up until the next sort of river valley and then I'll pick up the River Teen, I think, run along sort of past Castle Drogo and then just hop up onto the moor and just find some of the camp for the night. It's all a little bit arbitrary, I don't really know how long it's going to be. I suspect it'll be 25 miles or so today, um, probably about the same tomorrow. Um, we shall see. Um, So we have just done the final climb coming out of the X catchment. We've got a little sort of nice forested road here. It's dead quiet. I haven't seen a single car in the space of about an hour, which is brilliant. And then we are going to be dropping down to the Teen Valley and then we're sort of just going to follow that up pretty much all the way to Castle Drogo and Jagford. Um, yeah, so should get a lot nicer from here on out. So, we have finally made it off of those lanes. Uh, down there is the River Teen, and we are going to be following that for well, pretty much the majority of the rest of the day. Um, certainly until we get to like Castle Drogo, Chagford area. And it feels good to be off that blasted tarmac, I tell you. <laughs> I need out on some decent trails. And we've even got some blue sky. What more could you want? There we go. Dartmoor National Park. And just crossing over the River Teen. Steps Bridge on the River Teen. Um, I was actually up on this stretch last weekend, even. Um, lovely stretch of river. And we are going to be following this for, uh, I don't even know, next couple of hours at least. Um, I'll probably stop somewhere along the way, have a bit of scran, and um, keep the energy levels up. So we've just ticked over 10 and a half miles in what, three and a quarter hours. So, making good time. We'll probably get well onto the moor before sundown. So, we're just approaching Fingal Bridge. Um, it's just gone midday, so we've been out walking for about five hours. So, it's um, not as busy as it normally is. Unsurprising, really. It's a sort of thin, annoying mist in the air. Kind of just getting everything a bit wet, to be honest, a bit damp. Uh, well, we'll push on for a little bit more and stop some food, I think. 
Right, so that there is Sharp Tour. Um, it's currently about one o'clock. I've just had sort of a 20 minute sit down and a bit of food. Um, my legs feel considerably better after stopping for the first time since Exeter this morning. Otherwise, very good walking, very clear path, and making really good progress. I had a pink over lunch and a bit of a pour over the map to come up with a route the rest of today. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up the two moors way. I did, when was it, three, four years ago? Um, do that in reverse until sort of Gidley um, and climb up onto the moor, Burnworthy Forest and then probably head down towards the East Dart River. Um, that might be quite a good spot to camp depending on what time it is and from there sort of wiggle my way down to Princetown tomorrow morning and then we'll figure out something um, to go onwards to Plymouth. Yeah, good old walk this. So we've just arrived at the intersection of the Two Moors Way and I was last on the Two Moors Way, I think it was three, four years ago. Um, when I was doing that, you can see the main bridge there, I camped just up there somewhere and it was one of the worst night's sleep I've ever had. It was ticks, 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 so maybe you just pick the bloody things out of the tent, but you can never get them all. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. Find somewhere else to camp, it's going to be the two more away. There's plenty of other spots, I could have just moved, but I didn't. Anyway, we are now into the grounds of Castle Drogo, heading on towards Chagford. So we finally made it up onto the moor. places at the moment. I'm actually tipping it down. That's uh, Kez Tor where we're heading next. Hooli down this valley. Uh, see if we can find somewhere a bit more sheltered. Quite impressive. Quite a bit in Spain. So I've got the tent up. I tried to film it, but the wind and the rain was just. Yeah, I think it knocked the GoPro over. So pretty poor weather outside to be honest. I'm very glad to be in here in a nice warm sleeping bag. I had a real problem with the stove. Um, it just it wouldn't stay lit. I think the wind and cold was just really messing with it. Um, it, it either that or the petrol I siphoned out of the mower was a bit old and probably been sat there quite a while. I think that's probably more likely actually. 
that. Yeah, so I had just about cooked pasta and cold beans for dinner. So this is where I camped last night. Um, I didn't film myself putting the tent up because it was horrendous weather. I was just glad to get up and get into the warmth. Um, the East Dart waterfall just up there. really quite deep and there really wasn't that many stepping stones so I had to crawl across as best as I could um, but it's okay we're moving we're heading towards Prince Town and fingers crossed it's gonna be a full day of stuff like this Progress has been a little bit slow this morning. Take me out hour and twenty, hour twenty-five to do nearly three miles. Um, just because of the terrain's been a bit sort of lumpy and a bit tricky to sort of get footings on. Um, we've just made it to Whisman's Wood. Um, it's a lovely ancient, I think it's oak woodland. Um, well worth a visit. Can't camp it though. It's a protected nature reserve. We're going to be heading down this valley now to two bridges. So we are just approaching two bridges now. Um, the plan was to sort of follow the road up for a bit and then skirt off down this path over there and do a little bit of a loop before you end up into Prince Town. But in all honesty, it's pretty early in the morning. That road I've been watching it for the past five, ten minutes or so, and there's very little traffic out and about. So I think we'll just follow the road up into Prince Town, to be honest. Um, and hopefully the shop will be open and I can get some more water. It's the stuff I've been filtering. Whilst the filter's pretty good, it's just got a bit of a strange taste to it. And it takes ages to filter stuff, so buy some more water or you can just get it from the National Park Centre if that's open that'd be ideal you might even have hot pasties mm. kind of want a pasty now yeah. we're just coming into Prince Town now at whatever it is 20 to 10 I think Bit of an uninspiring stretch going up the road, if I'm honest, but it was quick. Yeah, it had to be done. So we're back on the trails in a minute. So we just stopped in Prince Town. I thought, ah, oh, why not? Go and get yourself a pasty. So like this absolute monster. And a bar of chocolate, of course. Just get me going. Just outside of the Plume of Feathers, um, one of the pubs in Princetown. And it's quite sad to see their campsite is now closed, even permanently. Uh, many memories of camping there for DV and all sorts over the years. Yeah, end of an era, I guess. All right, well, we're now heading south out of Princetown towards South Hessery Tor. Um, whilst I was having my pasty and chocolate just consulted the map and sort of planned the route for the rest of the day um, it's actually quite straightforward to be honest it's basically just straight down to the tour sort of go over the other side of it 
um, and then just work our way down towards the Drake's Trail. Just come down off the side of Legis Tor, which is behind me. And we'll sort of just go for this older field here. And we are heading down towards this river valley here. Um, we're obviously going to follow that down. I can't remember the name of the river for the life of me. Um, going to follow that down to Cadover Bridge. Uh -huh. crossing the ford had been washed out and the path along the side of the river pretty much had been completely washed out as well so we made a short detour and we've headed away from the river a bit to the hamlet of Brisworthy and we're just going to follow the road down from there back to Cadover Bridge. last minute change of route so instead of going down the road to Cadover Bridge I decided to basically go straight across it and come up here which is Wickford Down just because I've never been up here before and the road was actually kind of busy it's busier than the road going into Princetown um, so we're gonna head along this little promontory um, as you can see it's very pretty up here And then we will eventually go to Jewiston Rock and drop down from there on to Drake's Trail, finally. <laughs> so we're just coming down from Jewiston Rock. I just spend sort of five, ten minutes up there, just having a little sit down, a bit of food. And we're just working our way down this slope. Um, well, you can just about see over in the distance that you can see there's Plymouth. Um, we're not that far away. So we're just working our way down here to the cycle path, which will take us into the city. All right, we have finally made it onto Drake's Trail, which is this beautifully paved cycle path that runs all the way down this valley right to the centre of Plymouth. So, this is what I've got to look out for the next two hours or more, probably. We've just ticked over 17 miles and it's we've been quite slow this morning, it's just gone two o'clock. So we finally made it to the outskirts of Plymouth, as you can see by the delightful amount of barbed wire. Um, we're just coming up to Furniture World. Hey, uh, no, we're coming up to Plymbridge Station. Um, so instead of staying on this trail, because I've done this trail many a times on the bike, I don't wish to do it again on foot. We're going to try and find a way to wiggle back up through the city. Um, and get to the train station somehow. I haven't figured that bit out yet, but we'll make it up as we go along. But yeah, made it to Plymouth. And it is quarter to four, and I think trains go at like half, half past. Yeah. Doing good, good progress. 
on the home straight, even if that is just this disgusting bit of B road. We're gonna follow this for about a mile, and then we're pretty much on top of the station, which is our, gonna be our designated end point. Got here in the nick of time. Got the ticket. They got five minutes before the train leaves to Exeter. Couldn't have done that better.